In this section, we're going to assemble the Y plates. We'll start by putting the smooth idlers onto your Y plates. Insert the screw into the smooth idler from the opposite side that the bearing sticks out. Then slide an aluminum spacer onto the screw and put it in this hole in the Y plate. Fasten it with a nylock hex nut on the other side. Repeat this process with the second smooth idler. You'll note that there are two sizes of holes that accept V-wheels on the Y plates as well. A smaller one for nylock hex nuts and a larger one for eccentric nuts. We'll start with the holes that accept the nylock nuts. Start by putting a screw through a V-wheel, then put a washer on that screw, and push it through one of the smaller holes on the Y plate. Again, fasten this on the back side with a nylock hex nut. Repeat this process for the other top V-wheel. Now we'll put the bottom V-wheels on that use eccentric nuts. First, put a screw through a V-wheel, followed by a washer. Stick that screw through the plate as before, and then thread an eccentric nut onto the screw. Make sure that the shoulder of the eccentric nut faces the Y plate. Repeat this process for the second bottom V-wheel with an eccentric nut. I'm going to tighten the top V-wheels first. And you want to get these a little past finger tight. There's no reason to wrench on it really hard, but you do want these to stay in place. Now I'm going to tighten the eccentric nuts. Make sure that the shoulder of the eccentric nut is seated inside of the large hole. You want to make another version of the same plate for the other side of the machine, but make sure that it's a mirrored image. Take a look at this picture for a clarification.